Heavens the Fear, and today we're checking out the version 43 software update to Quest 2. We're gonna be pretty much talking about the new recording features that appeared in the experimental settings. The last video of that kind I made like one and a half year ago, so that only shows you how much Meta cares about content creation in general, and is instead introducing features that, let's be honest, not many people care about. As a self-proclaimed king of Quest footage, which I am actually. <laughs> I know pretty much all about this topic, sometimes even more than meta, like I don't feel like they know their own software that I have to fix pretty much from the start of my career. <laughs> this update is live for a while now, but because of those gradual rollouts, I got it on my headset pretty much a few days ago and I've been testing it ever since. There are some cool findings to the point that it's gonna change a little bit of the dynamic on the channel, especially for me that I always could use like, you know, side quests and stuff to configure certain settings that I want to change with the footage. It's just that for me specifically, it doesn't really work because every time I'm recording, I have to do it again. Producing that much content and doing this shit like it would just be a pain in the ass. Having things now natively really makes a difference. I did a compilation comparing the original footage that I've been doing for the most part with different settings and scenarios that interest me the most and let's see what we have here. <laughs> so first on the palette we have changing an eye perspective from where it actually records. Normally it would be from the left one, I'm not sure why it's like a default option and in comparison to the right one there's not really that much difference although this is gonna be very much important for shooters specifically with the sniper rifles because sometimes the visual would be like clogged in one eye and then you don't really see anything happening that would most of the time happen to people that are like left-handed because then your rifle is like on a different shoulder and then there's just no footage to record if the game blacks out the screen in the meantime so that's good to have in mind while doing action footage second we have image stabilization this pretty much means that whenever you move your head sometimes it would be like very shaky and hard to watch in very intense intense gameplays. The footage on the right is pretty nice, but it kinda zooms in sacrificing your FOV, so you're not gonna see everything in the video and that's not really my preference nowadays. It can be crucial for some UI going on and just subtitles in games. Also I'm not really sure if it comes across as like a real footage, because the movement isn't really natural to me personally, so while everything seems like much calmer and clear to see, it's kinda awkward to watch honestly. First of all we have a landscape format. This is something that a lot of people opt in for because the video is like in full screen, however, because it renders one eye and not two, the image is always gonna be cropped in. And this is way worse than image stabilization. I never really wanted to record it that way. Just because the image is zoomed in does not mean it's gonna be high quality, it's the complete opposite. Compressing things in a square format really is the way to go even though you have borders on the side or something else going on is just the real actual thing that's going on in VR. Now we're getting to the most interesting stuff. Natively on Quest and it depends also on the game, videos normally lock in 24 FPS or 30. Depending on the app's refresh rate you're currently using, the headset essentially cuts two thirds of frames to compensate the performance. With the new feature I essentially managed to jump a half of it, which pretty much reminds me of how I used to record stuff in my Quest 1 days. This is amazing. I didn't really notice any performance drop nor really like the memory load. Natively for me this is a game changer. Video compression quality. By default we have 5 megabytes per second going on. It essentially means how much detail you can save into a video and maintaining the fact that the image does not get blurry at all. This is very much apparent in high action packed games because the footage would not be smooth all the time and this setting really changes things in exchange of an apparently bigger size which I didn't really notice that much of a jump. I might see it when I'll record like more than one hour, but it's not gonna get that crazy unless you change the frame rate with it. This is also a very good feature for me. This one and the previous one in combination really is something that I always looked forward and I'm very happy that I'm actually able to use this. I have one bonus comparison because I was thinking, what about the PC VR footage that I'm doing through virtual desktop? Normally that application let me naturally cross 24 FPS on Quest and create a stable 30 frames for every single game that I play wirelessly from my PC. With the combination of higher frame rate and higher compression quality, I essentially created a perfect footage. This is like truly amazing for me because every single game on PC VR I'm gonna be able to record in like 
amazing quality. Bear in mind that the memory goes really fast in this one. We're talking about triple size comparing to the default settings. It goes so fast that you essentially have to count minutes that you're in VR. All of those things considered there is a thing about battery life, memory, what you need and what you can do because having bought higher storage for my quest this is why. <laughs> I'm gonna be testing more things along the line. Eventually you'll start to notice that what I'm gonna be uploading is gonna be a little bit different from the past videos. For once I'm very glad to have things in control and surprisingly Meta did something good for once. This doesn't happen very often and I don't say that. <laughs> but good job to the IT guys that I will have better time with content. <laughs> Don't hesitate to ask any questions about this topic. I'm pretty much the best person to answer those in the community and let's embark on the another chapter I guess in the channel.